meantime, the Ivy League can play ball, believe it or not. Even though the schools don't offer athletic scholarships, they do have two possible NBA prospects. Michelle Steele joins us now with the details. Michelle. Hey, Deirdre. Yeah, some teams, a correction here, some teams in the Ivy League can play ball. I think uh, Columbia is still having trouble with the physics of, like, a layup. But uh, anyway, Harvard Cornell plays this weekend. Alums like Steve Ballmer definitely paying attention. But you know what? NBA scouts are paying attention as well. Uh, the H bomb making the Bloomberg sports pages again as they meet the Big Red and Ithaca. Now the two best teams in the Ivy League, both with shots at berths in the NCAA tournament. The sold out game getting some attention largely because of two star players. We've got Harvard guard Jeremy Lin and Cornell forward Ryan Whitman taking the court. Talent evaluators tell us that these are two Ivy Leaguers that could play in the currently Ivy League less NBA six foot six Ryan first up the Ivy League's second leading score averaging 18 points a game majoring in applied economics and management taking on Harvard's Lynn six foot three leading his team get this guys in points assists minutes and steals he's also an econ major uh, plus he's getting attention because he's Asian American he would be the first Asian American actually drafted uh, to the NBA if he is drafted now the NBA's assistant director of scouting telling Bloomberg Lynn's been on our radar for a while he's going to have an opportunity. Now, if they get drafted, minimum salary in the NBA, $473,000 a year, or the Development League, much, much less, or investment banking, another conventional path for some Ivy League graduates, 60 to 70,000. Uh, I'm guessing the NBA is kind of the best choice here. Deirdre. Michelle, thanks very much. Michelle Steele on the B-ball beat there.